Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome back. Welcome back to Robertson Spelly Acres. <laughs> See, uh, we talked about this here a while back. We had an egg eater in the coop. Uh, we chased a skunk out. Uh, I went and got some concrete. I concreted the hole. And unfortunately, when I did that, I concreted the skunk in. So <laughs> we've got the game camera. We set it up. Just to make sure, because we weren't sure, you know, we started, we saw the cats getting in and out of the coop, and we thought, well, will they get in there and eat the eggs, and we knew it wasn't one of the chickens this time, because they were leaving half shells in there, and, um, so we set up a game cam, and Rosie, Rosie needs, uh, her, Rosie her camera needs, time. Rosie, you need your camera time. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's okay, we have, uh, the cows staring us down right now, too. <laughs> uh. So we set up a game camera, and yep, sure enough, it is a um, skunk. Yes, and he's really hungry because that's all he's getting is the eggs. And the reason we say we know he's really hungry is he's really skinny, and he's coming out in the daytime. Yep, yep. So, I mean, he's been cemented underneath there, and he can't get out to get anything other than eggs. So, uh, we're just lucky he hasn't gotten our chickens. Yes. Okay, if we can see past the goats, you can kind of see right here. Excuse me, Mama. You see down here where we put this hail screen, it comes out about a foot, foot and a half underground. We did that. So we can stop anything from, from digging under, of course. We have also gone on the top, has a entire top is hail screen. So we've done everything we can to, to keep things out. And I guess in a good way, we have also made it so that once it gets in, it can't get out. Nothing can get in, nothing gets out. But see, he was getting in right here. And you can see I put a, an entire 80, bag, 80 pound bag of sacrete right there to to cover up that hole. It was the weak spot in my, the weak spot in the fortress. But he's, he's definitely stuck in there now. He can't, can't come through the hail screen. So, see we've got this little dollhouse up here and you can see back there in the corner they've been, he's been coming up here and munching on eggs there. This hole right here is where he's coming in from under the coop. Uh, Leonard and Mary come out here and they put these boards up. But we're going to go ahead and we've got some great big, I say great big, got some decent size uh, sandstone. We're going to go ahead and haul them up here. But you can see down in that nesting box there, there's a, a eaten egg. Now watch this rooster up here. It's kind of a jerk face. And there's nothing in that one. So we just got to get in here and make sure that we can, we're going to block him in. Uh, I know everybody's going to say, oh, he's going to die under that coop. Guys, I would rather have a, the smell of dead under there right now than the smell of skunk. And I get my eggs back. So Rachel and I are going to head up on the hill and, uh, load up the wheelbarrow with some sandstones and bring them back down here. Yep, try to get him blocked in and uh, hopefully remedy the problem. Uh, like Rusty said, it's going to stink once he's gone under there, but uh, if we get him out another way, I'm afraid he's going to spray and uh, and then it's ten times worse. So. Yes, so <laughs> once we know that he's been in there, I'm going to say at least a week, you know, a week or two then I'm gonna go ahead and I'll dig down dig a hole big enough for me to get my head down there beside find where he's at get my shovel up in there drag him out and go bury him uh, I know a lot of people say oh I need to relocate him I need to do this guys he's messing with our livelihood and as homesteaders we all know we have to do what we have to do to protect our livestock yeah if you rehome him he'll come back yeah they'll they come back and I I don't know about y'all, but I am not about picking up a live skunk <laughs> in a trap or not. 
Right. I don't like them. Country <laughs> kitties need to go. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and just a uh, PSA, if you will. If they're going to come out, pick up rocks, boards, anything off the ground this time of year, please be smart and safe. I always check for squigglies and after this spring I also check for spiders. joining our channel the reason he says after the spring he checks for spiders you'll have to go back and watch our videos called in the hospital rusty was bit by a brown recluse this spring and spent five days in the hospital if you look at that that's what's left and his his leg is permanently bruised there around it but yeah, it was a pretty big ordeal. We did not expect, you know, never would we have expected five days in the hospital. Especially not during the pandemic. Yeah, during the pandemic. So he was in the hospital. I couldn't be with him. Um, also, if you're just joining our channel, you know that we are always together. <laughs> so that was pretty tough. But... Um, You better make sure that he's not in the coop right now. Because I kind of, well, I don't know if I'm smelling the skunk or smelling Elvis. I think you're smelling Elvis. He's not in there. So I'm smelling Elvis? Yes. Okay, guys. <laughs> FYI, Elvis stinks. He's kind of a stanker. <laughs> <laughs> Just like a belly goat. Billy goat, 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 goat. Stay there, Jerry. What happened? Stumble. Oh, I thought it was. I thought something was coming out. Oh, someone was coming after me. I'd be telling you, shut the door, shut the door, shut the door. <laughs> then you'd say, not yet, not yet. <laughs> let me out, let me wait, out. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait. <laughs> Is the rooster being a butt? No, he's actually turning, turning his back to me. <laughs> he's like, yeah, yeah, close him in because I, I, I don't want to deal with him. <laughs> That's my question, guys. That rooster wants to come after me all the time, but you got something in here threatening your your ladies. I don't do nothing to him. <laughs> Is he? What do I do with him? You tell me. I have a good idea. <laughs> Last time I said what I want to do to him, I got a lot of flack. So. I'm going to say it anyway because I think he's ready for the soup pan. <laughs> Stay there, jerk. Hey, give me a knife more later. Okay, so as you guys saw, I made sure to cover any possible hole. Well, you're probably thinking... 
Hey, dum dum. That rock's not in there right. But I'm trying to cover that hole. I'll probably stand that rock on end. But I've got these in there like this. Uh, Rachel's on their way into the, the garage where we keep the feed and the bedding. She's going to come out here and clean these nesting boxes out real quick. But guys, the only thing I know to do is to, to try this and see if this is going to work. Uh, we'll know in the morning if we've got eggs, we know we kept him out. So it's going to be trial and error, I guess, this first day or two and see what we can come up with. <music> So I went ahead and turned that rock over. I don't know how that well this is going to work. But you see, Rachel put these pine shavings in there. Oh, there you go. There we go. Got pine, new, fresh pine shavings in both nesting boxes. That way we can... It smells a lot better than the skunk. <laughs> <laughs> a lot better smell, and hopefully we can get some eggs. Okay, so I put these rocks here, trying to cover up all the holes that we can. Uh, I think my theory is this corner no better than I can get that hole plug as you can see right down here you can kind of see that hole I think he's gonna dig under that so I'm gonna go look and see if I can find a piece, another, another piece of hail screen to put over there if I can I'll rock it put that rock on top of it if not and he dig, if he does dig under it I will go to the red barn and I'm gonna buy about three more bags of saccharite and we're just gonna pour concrete all the way around this as a footer. And that way, if he's, if he's digging out, he's gonna have to dig up that far. And as skinny as he is, I don't think he's gonna have the energy to do it. Fingers crossed. Do you ever feel like you're being watched? She's winding up. She's winding up. Are you winding up, Rosie? Oh, Rosie, she beat you to it. You took too long winding up. Y'all, look how big that little steer's gotten. He's almost as big as his mama. He's a big boy. He's almost as big as Blanche. <laughs> Alrighty, you guys. So, hopefully, hopefully that's going to remedy the situation. I hope. And, yes. <laughs> so, uh, we'll keep you posted on that. Um, and uh, so, if you like the video, please hit the like button, subscribe. Uh, Smash that bell, share with your friends, comment. Comment, comment, guys. <laughs> we we want to know what you guys' thoughts are on uh, how to get rid of these skunks. Because like I say, I don't have a live trap, and I don't believe in rehoming them. Because they come back. We've tried, and we've tried rehoming skunks and possum both. They just come back, and yeah. they wreak just as much havoc when they come back. So. Yeah, they come back and bring friends. <laughs> hey, I got the spot. <laughs> hey, buffet. <laughs> Anyway, we'll see in the morning if we have uh, eggs or not, but we'll keep you guys posted. <laughs> Until next time, guys. God bless. See ya.